as off-exchange markets become increasingly electronic, how do they react to big political events such as Brexit or the election of Donald Trump? With me to talk about it is Scott Eaton, Chief Operating Officer for Market Access Europe. Scott, welcome. So, first of all, has this year been a watershed year for the electronification of, of OTC markets? I think it has been. We've seen incredible uptake this year. Just as, as an example, um, volumes on our platform for Eurobonds has increased 117% year on year to November. Likewise, we've seen an increase in activity from European-based clients up 121% year on year. So I think we're seeing exactly the watershed event that you just described. Mm -hmm. And if we, we actually look here um, at some of the activity uh, throughout the year, clearly Brexit in the middle there. Do you think that was actually a, a catalyst for some of the, these uh, numbers that you're describing here? I think absolutely. You know, what you see here is you see a um, big jump, not surprising, as traders express a view to political events uh, and macroeconomic events through the gilt market. But we see that increasing that trading take place electronically because it's an efficient means of finding the prices that you need and finding the liquidity that you're looking for. Now traditionally this market will be a very bank dominated one. Do you actually finding that, that people are now coming, other actors are now coming into the market here? What's this, what's this showing? Absolutely. In fact, actually what's very interesting, you can't see it here because it's hard to see the trades that don't occur. But what we see on our platform, we have an all to all protocol, which we call open trading. And through that, we see um, non-traditional liquidity providers, i.e. the buy side, providing up to a third of the liquidity on our so, platform. So we're talking about market makers, we're talking about institutional investors. Long here. only investors um, providing liquidity. So a role that typically isn't done by the buy side, but is now being done by them because that's where the money resides. And through that all to all, we're able to connect. Them. And, and can this show, for, for example, the, uh, whether people are actually getting uh, the trades done here? It doesn't. You, you can't see it here, but I think um, we, can, we can get to that conclusion anecdotally because we see that growth mm -hmm. in open trading. It now accounts globally on our platform for somewhere on the order of 10 to 15 percent of all the liquidity we see. And if we, we turn back to the, uh, the biggest event of the year, the election of Donald Trump, clearly we, we, uh, we can see uh, the impact here. Again, do you see uh, an in indication here of whether there, there is increasing volatility on this platform, whether actually this is, is really what the regulators intended when, uh, when they, they put these uh, plans in place? I, it's a great question, and I think, in fact, it is exactly what the regulators intended. I think if we strip it back and we look towards what they were, they were driving towards through both capital rules and MIFID, you're trying to see less and less um, position holding or position taking by the, by the sell side and more um, straight through trading. And with transparency requirements and the like, you see it being pushed to electronic platforms. And uh, final question then, so for next year, do you think uh, if, we, if we've reached a watershed that we'll see more of this next year? Well, of course, from where I sit, yes, I hope so. Hmm. Um, and I think, I think we will, as volatility becomes a somewhat normal event in the markets and as we see divergence between Europe and the US in terms of interest rates and fiscal policy versus monetary policy, we should continue to see increased trading going through platforms and then we have, of course, MIFID coming up, which I think will further enhance what we have to offer. Scott, thank you very much. Thank you.